Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. It's very subtle and people, if you do it right, will never know. This week, I'm going to show you how to seamlessly edit an interview or get a perfect rack focus with this tiny little trick that I figured out how to do in Final Cut and I was pretty excited about it. So let's get into it. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It's real something I want you to all right, we're gonna make this super quick. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So let's just go ahead and jump into Final Cut. So the first one is we're gonna be trying to do this rack focus. And sometimes when you're rack focusing between two objects, you can either overshoot it or you can go too shallow. If you really wanna get this pinpointed perfectly, this is what you're gonna do. You can see here, I did two different shots. So one shot focused on the 24 to 105 lens and then the other shot focused on my 50, the nifty 50 lens. And when I go between them, it looks like it's rack focusing, but if I sit here and play it, it's obviously two shots. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here into our transitions panel and we're gonna click on dissolves and then you'll see the normal stuff, divide, cross dissolve, fade to color, and then flow. And I'd seen flow before and I never really knew what it was. I didn't, you know, I didn't need it because fade to color or cross dissolve always worked. When I figured out how to do this, um, I was shooting a short film and we needed to have that pinpoint rack focus. We used this and it, it came out seamlessly and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All we're gonna do is just click on the flow and go ahead and just put it right there between the two clips. And we're just gonna let it render. Render's done and then let's just see what we get. Boom, perfect. So it looks like we rack focus in camera. Very, very nice. Now you will see up here in the inspector, when you do click on the transition itself, you don't really have that many options. So the only thing that you can do, um, the only thing that you can mess with really is how long you want this transition to be. If you want it to be shorter, sometimes that works a little bit better. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Let it render out real quick. Done and play. Again, perfect. So that is a way to get pinpoint rack focus between two subjects in your edit. Next up is gonna be, if you happen to be interviewing a subject and they just, they take a lot of time, they take a lot of pause between everything they're saying and they want that edit to be under two minutes but yet they spent four minutes talking about whatever they were talking about. This is gonna be a cool trick. If your subject happens to be staying relatively still, you're gonna be able to use this to sort of trim that fat in the space between their lines and, uh, and what have you. Here, you'll see I've got a little example of that. You wanna make sure that your subject is completely still, not moving at all. And then if they mess up a line or there's any space between the lines, you're gonna be able to just naturally, what, what was that? I got a phone call come back to the shot and seamlessly edit it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and trim all of that fat. And I'm placing my cut points on the waveforms where I can see that there's actually nothing going on um, with the audio, so I can easily just select these, get them out of there. Same thing here, blade. Blade, 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 blade. Here's the phone call bit. Blade. Okay, so let's just select those dead pieces. out of there and then let's add flow to each and every cut and if this works you're gonna be able to see how much time that's gonna save in your edit um, with the final deliverable if that client happens to want a lot of time shaved off and you happen to have a subject that did uh, pause a lot within the interview this is gonna help you out tremendously. So let's just go ahead, let this render. It's gonna take a moment. And we're done. So let's have a look. You wanna make sure that your subject is completely still, not moving at all. And then if they mess up a line or there's any space between the lines, you're gonna be able to just naturally come back to the shot and seamlessly edit it. 
boom. And this is just a super cool little trick that's gonna come in handy, like I said, for pinpoint rack focus, uh, trimming out some, some fat in some interviews, and maybe some other uses. Yeah, this is just, you know, when, when we figured out how to do this, we got pretty tickled. And um, hopefully you'll find this helpful. If you did, um, leave a comment below. Let me know if you knew about this or if you've ever used it. And uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And um, I'll see you. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Thank you so much, and I'll I'll see you then.